when we started this bid many years ago, and I unfortunately had the problem with gypsies demanding money, um, I was Jimmy No Mates because the council didn't want to help me because they were on private property, these uh, gangsters. The police didn't want to help me because they were on private property. When I said I'm paying tens of thousands of pounds in business rates, it didn't mean a thing. What it does now, because when I speak on behalf of the board, the collective clout is worth six and a half million pounds in <coughs> business rates to the government, to council or whatever. So we get something done. When we made a motto of united we stand, divided you fall. Well, I fell on my own, but I don't anymore. Because when I speak to the council now, or anybody else on your behalf, we get some action. Because if we don't, we treat this bid, and it is unique, because we treat it as a business. And as with any businessman will tell you, if we want results, we go and get them. And that's what we do on your behalf. And we'll continue to do that. Unfortunately, Elise Scott has got to make it today. I'm not quite sure how your parliaments work in East Africa, but in our parliament, apparently he's in a three-line whip. Now, I'm not quite sure if he's got the whip or he's being hit with it. But I just told him to enjoy himself, whatever he's doing. <laughs> so, um, uh, it's unfortunate he's not here because he's a big supporter of us. Uh, so is um, uh, Keith Prince, the leader of the council. Uh, Bev uh, and everybody within the council, they do their best for us. Uh, unlike years ago when I was on private property.